Hey everybody, here you're looking at my 2010 GMC Denali road bike. I just replaced the chain and upgraded the crank set on it, and I must say it's like a whole different machine now. But anyways, in this video I'm going to be talking about bike chains, and how you can spot if one is worn out. Now obviously, on any kind of bicycle, whether it be a, a fixed gear or one like this that's multi-speed, it's important that you check your chain once in a while if you ride your bike frequently because what happens over time is your bicycle chain wears out and it stretches and if you leave it like that for too long what it can do is it can eat up your gears like for example on a system like this it can eat up your freewheel or cassette or it can eat up your crankset gears that's not, that's not something you want to have happen because it can cost more to replace those components than just the chain by itself. I mean chains are relatively cheap and are not too hard to replace. All you need is a chain tool which you can even get at Walmart which the ones from Walmart are not very good quality but they will do the job for simple repairs but um yeah, you can you can buy a replacement chain from, from Walmart. I mean just go to your local Walmart and pick up a chain. Or if you want to buy a better quality one, you can go to like a bike shop or Dick Sporting Goods, REI, or Amazon, or somewhere like that. But basically, um, in this video, I'm going to show you an example of a worn out bicycle chain. Now, in the past of having this bike, I mean, I've always bought my replacement chains from Walmart. And I must say that the ones that they used to call um, speed chains, but now call Lynx 700, or um, no, it's Lynx 500, I believe. Those chains, um, while they do um, do the job, they don't last very long. I usually get like a thousand or so miles a piece out of these things. Not very long. For example, here is my old chain laying right here on the porch. I cleaned it very well before I took off the bike using a um, park tool chain scrubber. So most of the dirt is off of it. So that way I can easily handle it and not get my hands so dirty. If you notice here, I got a ruler propped on this brand new chain. And this is one of the easiest ways you can check your bike chain for wear. Now I'm not sure if this applies to single speeds, but I know it does apply to uh, multi-speed bikes like this. What you do is you place the one inch, the no, the zero inch mark right over one of the ends, you know, the links where they go together. And then you just simply look at the 12 inch mark. And this is a good example because this is a brand new chain. You see how the 12 inch mark is right over the link connector? It is directly over it. This indicates that the chain has not had any wear on it. And what happens over time is your chain stretches and it eventually gets to the point where it's like this. As you can see I'm going to prop the 0 inch mark right here and um let me see if you notice here how the zero inch mark is right over this link notice how we have some stretching here see um, you can see or not you see the 12 inch mark look where the link connector is it's way past the 12 inch mark so what can happen here is it can eat away at your gears let alone have much poor performance. I noticed recently during summer rides that um, sometimes when I was starting off from a stop I'd hear a loud pop and I think it was my chain slipping. Not necessarily slipping on the gear, it's just you know a sign of the chain being worn out. Now I'll show you something here. Now obviously with multi-speed chains you should have some play in them but not a whole lot because obviously these chains are meant to be slung back and forth across gears on you know with the derailleur but notice I want you to look at the play in this chain notice how much I can curve it back and forth I mean look at this I mean it's got a whole lot of play in it Yeah, I mean, anyways, when you get 
when your bike chain gets like this, you definitely want to go ahead and get it replaced. And bike chains are relatively cheap. I mean, this one here was $10, and I got, let's see, a thousand miles or so out of it. I usually expect a little bit more out of bike chains, but, you know. This one here is actually also from Walmart, but it was the Link 700. And it's claimed to be for nine speed bikes, but I'm um, looking on the back of the packages of the Lynx 500 and the Lynx 700. They're the same dimension chains, they just give you some extra chain with this one. This one claimed to be a high performance chain, so. <laughs> claims to be a high performance chain, let's see if it's a high durability chain. I'll find that out within a year's time or so. When the bike has over 55,000 miles on it, I will have to check again with the ruler. To see how much wear there is. That'll tell for sure if it's worth spending an extra four dollars on a chain from Walmart. Because this one here is like fourteen dollars and something before tax. This one here is ten dollars before tax. They're both decent chains for what they are. And um we'll have to see how reliable this one here will be. And I guess to go ahead and finish up this video, it's also important that you regularly lube your chain and clean it. Here I have some Easy Lube. Now this is kind of, I have mixed opinions about this. I don't think it does a very good job of prolonging the life of your chain. I mean I use it initially um, in its regular form and it didn't seem to do a good job of lubing the chain so I added a little bit, it's a little bit of Marble Mystery Oil into it and mixed them together. So that way you still had the wax lube to try to shed the dirt but a little bit of extra lubrication and it's hit or miss. I mean, it's better than nothing. But the real thing that helps your chain last long is a chain scrubber. Like this here. This is a Park Tool Cyclone chain scrubber. Now you can get a really cheap and basic white lightning um, chain scrubber from Walmart for like $10 and something, but it's very cheap. As a matter of fact, I still got it. I'll show you a little comparison between the two. I mean, this thing here is it's like garbage compared to the one you get from Walmart. I mean, excuse me, from Park Tool. This is what they sell at Walmart. And they only sell these at certain Walmarts. Notice how there's only three bristles. I mean, three brushes. And they're very basic brushes, too. They do, they do an okay job at getting the top and bottom of the chain, but um, notice with this one. Bring this into the light so you can see a little better. If you notice, we have a side scrubber to scrub the side of your chain. You have a top scrubber right there. That's where the chain comes in through here, runs through the side scrubber, and then gets scrubbed from the top and bottom using, you know, from these two brushes. The side scrubber actually has a brush inside that does the bottom too, so. And then it goes through this foam padding here. This way um, it keeps most of the um, cleaner inside this thing. And basically what you can use, I mean they sell cleaners at the bike shop or REI or wherever for this thing. But I use this stuff over here. It's called Citrus Degreaser and it's really the same as what they, I mean it's, I think it's about the same as what they sell in the bike shops. Because I've, I know Park Tool has their own cleaner. And it says citrus cleaner, but it costs a lot more. I mean, this whole thing here was only like a few dollars. It wasn't a whole lot at all. From Walmart, of course. <laughs> I mean, it was not a lot at all. As a matter of fact, um, they sell like gallon jugs of Purple Power cleaner, but it's not citrus cleaner. But it's degreaser, and it may work well. But anyways, in this video, you learn some ways to identify a worn out bike chain and um, some ways to maintain your bank your um, your bike's um, chain by lubing it and cleaning it so anyways hopefully this is some helpful information for you had any questions or comments feel free to ask them thanks for watching